the Ducati Cafe Racer is just coming together. There we have so far. Um, let's see, got this hoop welded on the back. Attachment there for the rear light. Um, chop down those side rails that used to come out here. And also a couple of little brackets here to relocate the coils, which, uh, as this was a 750 Super Sport, they used to be, as far as I don't remember, somewhere on the side. Uh, rear swing arm. Um, I have cut some of these because I'm not going to use the old hugger that was on there. Inserts. I started to cut those out and fill those in. One there and one there. Still got a couple to do. I won't be using those. Uh, this is obviously the tank. Um, took the big old pad off the back. Started to and the ground down the thick. There's sort of a piece there of fixes. Holds it on and it's stuck on. I'll try and get rid of the sticky somehow. Yeah. And this is the seat hump which I've been making which sits trying to do this with one end um, but basically I cut a strip out the middle all the way down because it was quite wide and fiberglassed it back together again also shortened it it was a lot longer it was some here out here somewhere now the engine I have sprayed that silver, but I'm probably going to redo that black. Not really happy with the silver. I'm going to go with these old, well, what I call ace bars. Just got to get that powder coated and the uh, swing arm Ducati. I was supposed to have the um, frame back from the powder coaters. Uh, got the swing arm. However, when I went to pick it up, uh, they paid to go with the wrong frame. So somebody else has got a nice bright yellow frame and they should have a black one. So, uh, rather brighter than I thought it might be. Yes, do not adjust your sets. But it's looking good okay. I think the yellow should have been closer to that yellow there. But um, when you're looking at those little swatches, it's uh, a bit hard to tell. But I'm happy with it anyway. And I just knocked new bearings in, well, half of them. So that'll be the next thing. Let's have cleaned these up. To show you the sort of first stage of the process I'm doing. Um, you can see there, hopefully near the light change just using this little brass wheel here and the a drill stand the polishing mop not too bad a finish you can compare it to uh, bottom yoke and there's the lower yoke which I think has actually come up a little bit better, slightly better casting in the first place. The first. Okay, I've got these um, the other part is already in there. Just got to fit those and then uh, pack some grease in. Then uh, so just use this small brass wire brush in a cordless drill. Just took all the crud off and uh, just pinged it out. Like that. Bushes, seal, dust seal, 
all it has to do now is put back the, uh, the end cap. Just got to check the check that gap there hasn't moved, and I'm gonna wet paint them. Uh, the main reason being to have them powder coated. Have to remove these hammerite smooth black. Um, I've used that before. Let's see, I've got the the wheels painted up. Also did the mid of the discs as the gold paint was starting to flake a bit. There's the rear one. Not too bad a finish for a rattle can. All that's got to be sorted eh? because it's had a different um, dash unit clock and all that on it. Put some different on again. And the other thing is, I'm just cutting out this great big. So I never could understand why that's in there. It's a big connector block. Horrible thing. Process of refitting the wiring loom. So if you notice that this might cut down air box. And the other thing is, uh, got the ice bars on. And this is where we are with that so far. All looking good. And um, got the indicate, indicator lights up there, wired in. Right. So even though they're a little bit bulky, I'm going to go with them. And the, the star as well, keep all that. Do you have, uh, oh, I've got my indicators the rear ones anyway and the rear tail light wired in which is threaded so I just need to make some sort of bracket so I can mount them mount them on there yeah uh, got my indicator lamp ready All right so this is the solution to get it to work so these are the uh, teed into the left and right indicators <coughs> got two diodes here right. you can see that's flashing that side is flashing a bit Looking quite good uh, and need to sort it. I've managed to get hold of a monster my god uh, but that's all and there's my little uh, extender piece tank you should see as I've been sprayed exhaust fitted and repurposed the uh, rear foot pegs uh, just got those in the middle of the machine and took off the little bracket bit that sticks out uh, did have a problem with the nipple that was really seized in there couldn't bleed the brakes eventually that that snapped so just got one of these unions with the bleed nipple on the end the seat unit that's just had a that's the colour I've done it four polar grey let's give it a little go here if it will to replace the um, to replace these pipe fittings I've got here there we are I think that looks a whole lot better um, got a tank pad sticker as well which I think colours go quite well with the frame so that's all looking good <laughs> 